on the first 2019 edition of Coyote Nation TV. Learn more about the TRE bond that passed last November and celebrate our 10th anniversary by seeing where some of our graduated coyotes are now. Today is Thursday, January 10th, 2019, and you're watching Coyote Nation TV Live. Hey Coyotes, welcome back. I'm Sahana Patel. And I'm Maya Aridi. Over the break, I got so much sleep, like I was so rested up. Honestly, I got to relax for break, and hopefully our Coyotes did too. And hopefully you guys are excited for this new semester. I mean, there are a lot of the same rules this semester though. But there are a few new changes coming up for next school year. Yep, last November you probably heard that a lot about the TRE and Bond, or how it'll affect you guys. CNTV's Ashton Eats has more on how the TRE and Bond will impact us when it's in action starting next year. My heart is pumping. Two years ago, you may have heard about the controversy surrounding the tax ratification election, or TRE. This led to some budget changes at our school and delayed school openings, including Memorial High School. But during the election this past November, Frisco residents passed the new TRE and bond. It's a way in which we raise money to pay for the programs and the activities and the education that our students have in the district. This decision will affect heritage students in two major ways. You will see, hopefully, less students in classes, that our ratio of students to teachers will be smaller. The other thing is you will see more technology. With the passing of the TRE, administration hopes more personnel will be hired, which will provide more one-on-one -on -one attention for students. With smaller classes, teachers can really give like individual attention to each student and to their need rather than kind of teaching like a generalized lesson that is made to fit like a 30 or above people class. It'll give students a lot more of an opportunity to work in small group work, to have more one-on-one -on -one help um, during class, not just during tutorial time. And then also, I've really noticed with classes in the past when I have a smaller class, I really feel like I found students become more invested in the course. Teachers and students also hope to get more technology in class. The uh, bond is really about technology and about more devices the students will be able to use, uh, more devices the teachers will be able to use in the classroom, and in some cases maybe uh, a different look. We use it every day and it's, it's a need for students at Heritage and Frisco ISD in general. Some teachers think that more access to technology will encourage students to become an active part of the class. They can be a lot more engaged um, in the actual activity and their learning and reviewing and it gives them an opportunity to show their creativity and their understanding of information in different ways. It's awesome that they passed it because students are going to get so many opportunities, so many access to other things. So it's great that they're getting these advantages that are just going to make their high school experience so much better. I'm Ashton Needs for Coyote Nation TV. Are you excited for next year? Yes, I'm excited for all the new technology and the smaller class sizes. That's going to be really nice. I think the technology is going to be really cool. And it's definitely something to look forward to for that next year. That is true. <laughs> and something to look forward to right now is our newest trivia. For those of you who have watched the Golden Globes last Sunday. Don't get me started. Did you see Lady Gaga lose? Yes. Oh, she should have won. That was really surprising. Honestly. She should have won Best Supporting Actress. Like, Well, enough talk. The trivia question is, what water product was Kellith Cuthbert photobombing with at the Golden Globes. And your answer choices are vitamin water zero, 
Smart Water, Fiji, or Dasani. For a chance to win an Andy's gift card, tweet us your answer on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV, and make sure to be following us or your entry won't count. So, Do you know how many people she photobombed? Okay, I saw her way too many times to be counting. <laughs> Honestly. I just saw her every day. She's really promoting that water. Yes. We'll be right back after this short break. In the recent years, we have seen many incidents involving school violence. One of the many ways we can keep ourselves and our schools safe is very simple, yet easily forgotten. Um, the things that will help prevent it from happening um, is making sure you do things like not opening the door for people. The reason that you can't open the doors is because we don't know if you bypass the entry control point, we don't know who's coming in. The kids don't know if somebody was suspended. You know, you guys don't know if somebody has been, um, you know, had gotten in trouble over the weekend and you hadn't heard about the rumors at school or hadn't made it to school because it happened off school grounds and they're not allowed to come in. You don't know if the person was arrested and released. You don't know what's going on with that person. And so, um, really, there's just a rule that we have secure campuses. And so that's why we don't prop doors open and they're secure campuses because of all the school violence. So I guess reasons it's a rule, and it's a rule because uh, we don't want anyone who's not supposed to be in the school to be inside the school. Did you hear that this is Heritage's 10th year of being open? I heard something about that. Yeah, and every 10th of the month, they're going to have a new thing in store for us. Every month, we're going to be reading a few tweets from you coyotes to see what heritage means to you. Tweet us using the hashtag Heritage10. We also spoke to some heritage alumni to see what heritage meant to them. Take a look. In 2009, Heritage High School opened its doors. In the spring of 2012, our first graduating class walked across the stage of the Dr. Pepper Arena. This spring, in 2019, we'll be celebrating our 10-year anniversary. In order to celebrate this, we felt like it would be good to reach back to students who had graduated and, and tell us what it meant to be a Heritage student in their lives today and what it means to them to be a coyote. He was telling us our mascot, and it wasn't the coyotes. We were not the coyotes because we were from Texas, and so we pronounce it coyotes. And I, I love that and because being from Texas my whole life, I was all for being a coyote. And from day one, I, I absolutely loved it. Being a coyote means you're representing something that's so much larger than yourself and something that lasts so much longer than the four years that you're in high school. Being a coyote to me taught me class. It taught me how to be a part of a pack. It taught me everything that I needed to know to shape me into who I am today. If I could go back, I would absolutely love to go back in just a few more minutes uh, as a heritage coyote and to wear that maroon and gold one more time. nice to see what being a coyote has meant throughout the years. Yeah, definitely throughout the generations. Yeah. And remember, we want to know what being a part of the pack means to you. So be sure to tweet us under the hashtags Heritage10 to be featured on our show. Use the, Her use the hashtag Heritage10. Well, that's all for today. Check us out on packpage.org for more stories. Until next time, I'm Maya Aridi. And I'm Sahana Patel. And, and you, you stay classy, coyotes. coyotes. That wasn't that bad. <laughs>